Congress returns from a Thanksgiving break tomorrow with time becoming an issue. With the failure of the Super Committee to agree on cutting the deficit, members have barely a month to address more immediate concerns. Whit Johnson is on Capitol Hill with the latest. Whit, good evening. Russ, good evening. The broader deficit reduction debate will be put on hold for now. Instead, Congress will focus on some critical loose ends that, if not addressed in a matter of weeks, will affect millions of Americans. Packed in the backlog of legislation set to expire by the end of the year are long-term unemployment benefits and the payroll tax cut. If we don't provide the tax relief that President Obama has asked for, families are going to see an increase in taxes. These are Today, Democratic Senator Dick Durbin again pushed to keep the payroll tax cut in place, but by increasing taxes on wealthier Americans to cover the $112 billion price tag, a non-starter for Republicans like Senator John Kyle who say it won't help the economy. The payroll tax holiday has not stimulated job creation. We don't think that is a good way to do it. Republicans argue if you want to keep payroll taxes low, do it by cutting spending elsewhere. Same goes for extending long-term unemployment benefits, which without a deal will cut aid to nearly two million jobless in January alone. National Journal congressional correspondent Major Garrett. Legislating by crisis, that will be the defining characteristic of this very ineffective Congress in December. With an approval rating of just 9%, the 112th Congress may go down as the least productive in modern history. So far, it's passed only 44 public bills that were signed into law. Even the so-called do-nothing 80th Congress under President Harry Truman passed 906. Both sides know they're arguing past each other, and intentionally so, to make a bigger political point. Why? Because well, next year is an election year. Some Republicans say passing bills just for the sake of passing bills only means more spending. And as they attempt to win back the White House and the Senate in 2012, continued gridlock is expected. Russ? Whit Johnson on Capitol Hill. Thanks a lot.